Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at working with scenes. You can think of scenes in Capture just as scenes in a theater play, where stage elements go on and off stage or change locations between different scenes. I've prepared a Capture project file that we're going to use to try out scenes. Scenes are added removed and changed between in the scenes category of the design tab. Every project file comes with one scene as a standard. This is the default scene that you start in when you start designing. Let's add a second scene. Let's call it scene two. In this scene, I want to hide the tree and move the motorbike to the other side of the stage. Before I can do that, I need to let Capture know which objects I will be tracking throughout the scene change. This is done by selecting the objects, the tree and the motorbike, going to the Selected Items category, and setting the Include in Scenes property to Yes. This means Capture will now store the position information of these objects as I change scenes. So let's change to the newly created scene. Let's select the tree. Now in order to hide it, I need to go to the selected items again and use the hidden property. Now I've hidden the tree. Let's move the motorbike to the other side of the stage. Why not rotate it as well for the sake of the example? So now we've set up a second scene, the tree has been hidden, the motorbike has been moved, but if I go back to the default scene by double clicking in the current column, you see the tree is back again where it was from the beginning and so is the motorbike. Now if I make any changes in this scene, the default scene, of course these will not carry over to the newly created scene 2. It's also worth noting that it is possible to trigger scene changes through DMX by patching the camera of a view. You can read more about this in the reference manual. Thanks for watching and see you soon in our next episode.